Good day, Grade Tens. Today we're going to do a mixed resistor example. Now, if I present you with this, you might have a nervous breakdown. But what you need to realize is that if we look at something like this, we can break it down into smaller bits and then handle each bit separately, and then we can do it. So, first of all, let's go over here. Okay, and then let's get a pen going. So the first thing you need to do is you need to isolate the resistors and you need to break them down into one resistor for each. So in other words, we need this here to be represented by one resistance and we need this to be represented by one resistance. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that first of all we're going to work out the effective resistance of this lot. So we're going to say R parallel. And because they are three resistors, we can't use our special resistance equation. We have to go 1 over R parallel is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. So in this case, we've got 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 1 over 3. So common denominator, remember this is over 1, so common denominator is 6. 2 goes into 6 3 times, that's 3 plus 6 plus 2. I'm going to write it over here because I'm running out of space. So 3 and 6 is 9 and 2 is 11 over 6. Okay, so that is equal to 1 over R parallel. And therefore, therefore R parallel is equal to 6 over 11 which if we pop in our calculators, 6 divided by 11, we equal to be, and I'm going to round it off, that works out to be 0 0.55 ohms. So that there is the resistance of this one. So we're going to call that our P1 and P1. So in other words, I could actually replace all three of these resistors with one resistance which has a resistance of 0 0.55 ohms. Now let's look at the second part. So this we're going to call RP2 and because there are two resistors in parallel we can use our special equation which says RP is equal to R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2 so that is going to be 2 times 4 over 2 plus 4 which is 8 over 6, which works out to be 1 point, and I'm also going to round this off, 1.33 ohms. So again, what I could do is I could replace this with one single resistor with a resistance of 1.33 ohms. And now we actually have effectively one resistor of 0.55 and one resistor of 1.33, but if you look then, if we travel along here through the 1.33 ohm resistor, along here and then up through the 0.55 ohm resistor, you can see that effectively we've got two resistors that are in series. So our total resistance is going to be this 0.55 ohms from this resistor over here, this one here, plus 1.33 ohms from this resistor over here which means that the total resistance in this circuit is going to be 1.88 ohms. So do you see that it's actually quite an easy thing to do to work out the resistance in the circuit? You just need to first of all identify your parallel resistors. Remember that you always have to calculate the effective resistance of the parallel parts first. And then once you've done that, you can then add up all the resistors that are left in series. Right, and that is a mixed example of resistors. I hope you've had a good day. Enjoy it further. Cheers. Thank you.